Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10, and it reads, For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have shown towards his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full of, of assurance of hope until the end. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. First and foremost, only give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith with God. So, people here for a bit. Just a quick little hit before I head out, Lord, as well. Laboring. Hey, we work for the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. It don't get no better than that. We go all out when it comes to working for Sleazy. When we on his job, we, we do the most. <laughs> we put in overtime. We be grinding when we be at work, getting dirty, <laughs> doing what we got to do to get the job done. It's, it's none, no different. It's no different. Bear with me. See, the thing about working on slings at each job, you can kill yourself, toil, labor, put in overtime, but the next day, you know what I'm saying? He done forgot about what you done did, you know what I'm saying? You see, hey, you might get fired for killing yourself, doing all that work, doing all that labor. He, he really don't care. But when it comes to laboring for Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, the Lord said he's not going to forget. Lord's willing, we endure. And to the end, we got to continue to labor. We got to continue to minister, serve, serve our people with this blessed word. Instant, in season, out of season. Now we're beat down. We're tired. Schedule's all crazy. But at the same time, you got to fit it in there. You got to fit it in there. You got 10, 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? To kill. Lord willing, a 10 minute lesson. Get it in. The Lord said, what again? Just something quick, man, before I head out, man. We think about this all the time. Plus, this is the least that we can do. Once again, is feed our people with the truth according to the Bible. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, the truth. Speak ye every man the truth according to the Bible. Don't, don't open the Bible and read it and make videos if you're not going to speak the truth according to the Bible. Because every idle word that men shall speak, they're going to have to give account thereof. And the day of judgment, men, men don't even understand that. They actually open up the Bible, read it, make a video, and break down the scripture wrong on purpose, and they think they're not going to be held accountable. But for the hopeful elect men of the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, let us labor, man, to enter into that rest. The Lord's not going to forget nothing that we have done. Nothing. Lord willing, we endure to the end. One more time, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. For the most high is for the most high Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Showing all kind of charity. The Lord see us out there on the highway them byways, doing videos, studying, up late night, two, three in the morning, still reading, thinking about all that work right now, notes for another video, all in the car right now, notes for another video at home, so forth and so on. Just thinking about what, what can we do next? For Yahweh Baha Shem what can we do next for the whole for elect of the nation of Israel? What, what can we do next? And this is a labor of love. You got to love to do it. Because the Lord ain't going to always have the man of the Lord. Never had the, the man of the Lord just continue to speak. It eventually ended. Every time period, the Lord had his men speaking. Eventually, he, he had their tongue cleaved to the roof of their mouth. And they stopped talking. Next thing you know, here come the judgment. Here come the judgment. Which you have showed towards his name, and we most definitely coming in a proper name in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, the Most High, Yahweh, who they only call God. He is, he, he is, he exists, right? And his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, he saves, he delivers. I'm excited this morning, plus I'm kind of pressed for time. So, Slocky, I'm rushing through it. 
in that ye have ministered. The word minister means to serve to the saints, which are the Israelites, and do minister. We got to continue. Lord's will. We got to continue to minister. Keep putting up these shows. Keep continually hitting the highways and byways, right? And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope and to the end. Because we ain't made it yet. We got to be diligent, right? That ye be not slothful. The word slothful goes back to being lazy. The, the men and women and children that watch your page, go to your page, watch your videos. Don't supposed to go to your page in three months, no videos. Six months, no videos. That's you being slothful. Six months, no highways and byways. That's you being slothful. The Lord said, don't be slothful. Once again, even though we're beat down, barely, barely got enough energy to keep your eyes open out the work. You know you're getting ready to get tired. No, I'm saying try to do something right quick, then lay down. You see? But be followers of them who through faith, it's all about faith, believing in something that we don't see, believing in the kingdom. Right? That you be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience suffering. We're going to suffer, remember, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of Yahweh through its only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, which is really the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. It's going to be played out on earth. Inherit their promises. So the laborers that endure into the end and serve until the end do enter into that rest. And like I said before, this is just something quick. Ain't nothing long. Let's get a couple more scriptures. These, these scriptures just remind you that the Lord is watching everything. And plus, this is a labor of love, like the scripture said. What did it say? Um, hate not laborers work. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Lord, one of the elect is edified. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Verse, um, let's see. Let's see. Um, 57. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. But thanks be to the to Yahweh, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. That's how we get the victory. Through Lord Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father sent his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. But then you got men and women that don't even want to acknowledge our Lord and Savior. This is our creator. You see? This is our creator. That our people don't even want to acknowledge, but, but Lord Yahweh Shai said, look, those that don't want me to reign over them, bring them hither. Bring them hither and slay them. They don't want me to reign over them, bring them hither. You got, you got our people um, into Kemet, into, into Egyptology, Scientology, Mormonism, worshiping Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, and all this other nonsense. The Lord like, yo, okay, you don't want me to rule over them? You know what I'm saying? They don't want me to rule over them? Bring them hither then and slay them right before me. We get the victory we win through Lord Yahweh Shai. We're part of it. It's all over the scriptures. It's all over the scriptures. You got these Old Testament Israelites talking about they don't believe in a Savior. They only believe in the Heavenly Father. Well, well you through then. You, 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 actually, you absolutely through. With a big J, with a capital T H R U, you, 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 you and, a, and a million more U's. We gain victory. We get the victory. It says it right here. But but thanks be to the Most High Yahweh, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Therefore, my beloved brethren, the house of David, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye have, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Okay? It's not, it's not in vain. The Lord tells me this every day. It's not in vain. What you're doing is not in vain. This is adding up. This is adding up to be something great. And I thank the Lord, you know what I'm saying, for just keeping me excited all the time. Excited. Yeah, I'd be beat down. I'd be tired, yawning, so forth and so on. About to, about to fall asleep, but I'm thankful for it all, man. Waking up, waking up another morning with the Lord on my mind. This is Galatians chapter six. Like I said before, just something quick. Galatians chapter six, verse um. Let's see four. 
Galatians chapter 6, verse 4. But let every man prove his own work. I'm not going to get delivered of what the next man does. But let that, because it's scripture say, uh, what it was, uh, faith, is that, is that Romans? I'm going to see if I can get that too. Matter of fact, bear with me. Here it is. I had to, I had to look for this. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 7. Because cause I mentioned, I'm saying, uh, nobody's going to get saved of what the next man does. You got to put in your own work, right? Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved, because we're not saved yet, and shall be able to escape by his works. See, faith without works is dead. And shall be able to escape by his works. And look, look, and by faith, faith and works, whereby ye have believed. We, we, you think we doing these videos and we don't believe? No, we do these videos because we believe. We're the highways and byways because we believe. You see? Second Ezra 9 and 7 is clear. It's right there. You're not going to get delivered of what the next man does. Everyone and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape. Escape what? That second death, man. That nuclear holocaust. All right? And the Lord coming, shooting laser beams out of the chariots, man. Shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. So it's all about faith. It's all about works because faith without works is dead. So we got to put in the works. Bear with me. So going right back, Galatians chapter 6, verse 4. Remember, I read earlier, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, our labor is not in vain. Remember, and plus the scripture said the labors are few. It's only a few men, selected men too, pushing the 100% truth according to the Bible. So of course, of course we'll have to do more work. If, if it's a whole lot of work, you know what I'm saying? It's only a few labors. Of course, you're going to have to put in some overtime. You know, you're basically going to have to do the work of like three people. Or more. The same thing we're doing on Sleazy E's job. You, you're working for Sleazy E. You most definitely gonna have to do the job of probably about five people. And you got to get it done. Or they'll replace you. Galatians chapter 6 verse 4. But let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone. And not in another. All right? Let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Because once again, we're not going to get delivered of the work that the next man put in. We got to put in some work to the best of your ability. If the scriptures say neglect not the gift. Let's see. Um, I want I want to get one more, and then again I got to roll out. Going right back to 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter. I do, got, I, got, I do got one more after this. I got one more after this. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Let's see. We'll start at 16. 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Verse 16, it reads, for though I preach the gospel, the good news, I have nothing to glory of because this, this gift was given to us, right? Ain't no need of being proud, bragging, boasting, for necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me, destruction is unto me if I preach not the gospel. For if I do this thing willingly, you do this thing willingly, you ain't fighting against it. I have a reward. You see, if we do this thing willingly, hit the highways and byways, do this, um, do these, um, sit down lessons. If we do it willingly, I have, cause the Lord loves a cheerful giver, right? I have a reward, but if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. So we do this thing willingly. We, we have, we want to do it. We want to do it. Uh, let's see. Um, I was thinking of something, man. I lost my train of thought that quick. Oh, yeah. I, I want to I get this. And then I want to get one more after this. And then I got to roll, Lord's will. Let's get this Jeremiah. Let's 
Jeremiah chapter 3. Verse 15, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, his mind, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So when we push these videos out, when we hit the highways and byways, we're feeding our people with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, which is the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, right? So I got one more, then I got a row. You just want to do something quick through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Lord, one of the elect is edified. Our labors are not in vain. Our labors are not in vain. Plus, the Lord could have had anybody in our family do this. Any man upon the face of the earth do this. But he got us doing it, so let's be thankful. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse um, 15. I know thy works. That thou art in this red letter, Lord Yahweh shall speak who they're going to call Jesus. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. Lord, like yo, you ain't even cold or hot. So then the Lord said, I need you to be either cold or hot, in or out. Either in or out. That's talking to all of us. The Lord, like yo, you either in or out. So then, because thou art lukewarm. And we always go to the definition of this, so I'm going to do it now. I'm pressed with time, but I'm going to go into this definition, Lord willing. The Lord said, because thou art lukewarm, go to somebody that pays, they ain't did nothing in weeks, they ain't did nothing in months, but they still think they in the faith, they still think they involved. You, you know, just imagine now, you got a job, but you ain't showed up in months. But then you show up all of a sudden expecting a check. Let, let that make sense. You ain't been to work in months. Nobody ain't seen you in months. You ain't clocked in in months, weeks, in years. But then you go to the you go to the job. Don't say with the same shirt on that the manager gave you, the name tag and all that. Oh, look, expecting a check. Luke one. Um, what it say, timid. Slightly warm, showing little enthusiasm. You you basically ain't there. Go to a man's page and you don't see you ain't you don't see nothing, no videos being put up in weeks and months. You don't see no street ministries, you know what I'm saying, in weeks and months. You lukewarm as hell. But you expecting to get saved. You expecting to get delivered. You expecting to get paid. But you ain't been to work. Let that make sense. That's even an Esau job. You don't you don't show up for a couple of weeks. You fire like hell. Let, let alone a couple of months. You look a little half-hearted, meaning double-minded, unconcerned, uninterested. You go to a brother's page, you know what I'm saying? And he ain't did nothing in weeks. He ain't did nothing in months. Ain't no damn excuses. Unless he laid up in the hospital in a coma or something. Because if he's in the hospital, he can still, you know what I'm saying, think. And he's able to use his phone when the nurses go out, you know what I'm saying, for five minutes. Make a five-minute video. You see, but you're expecting to get paid, but you lukewarm. You, you know, uninterested, unconcerned, half heart, laxing days ago. This just really don't mean nothing to you. Feeding the children of Israel with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, the scripture really don't mean nothing to you. Laid back, you then went back to damn sleep, unresponsive, <laughs> just just dead. The spirit just dead again. You see. Look, look, couldn't care less. When the Lord says, look, don't be that way. Be hot or be cold. Don't be lukewarm. So then, because there are lukewarm, you don't give a damn. You don't care. You're tired and you don't want to do the work of the Lord, but you still think you're going to get saved. You still think you're going to end up on a chariot, but you ain't doing nothing. Page dry as hell. Now, get a job from Sleazy E and not go to work. And then all of a sudden, you go and try to get a check. So I'm like, where my check at? I'm, I'm expecting a check. You're expecting some money to go into your uh, your account, your bank account. you got Because you got a direct deposit. Come on, man. Lord said, you lukewarm, neither cold nor hot. I will spew thee out of thy mouth. This thing is deadly serious. It's supposed to be a labor of love. Just something quick. I mean, I had, I had other scriptures that I wanted to bring up, man, but I'm pressed for time. The Lord said, hate not labor's work. Uh, let thy light shine. Let thy light shine. Matter of fact, 
I'll get that right quick before I roll. I'll get it. Go to a person's page. Don't say they ain't did nothing in months. They ain't did nothing in weeks. But then they expect to get paid. Say Matthew chapter 5. So, so I, I know I ain't hit the highways and byways in a while. Well, well if, you, if you know it, then do something about it. Then do something about it. Because work, weeks, you know what I'm saying? Days turn into weeks and weeks turn into months and months turn into years, man. Let's say you know it'd be a year and you ain't went out there. You ain't did nothing for the Lord. Yeah, you know the Lord is an austere man. He gave you the talents. He gave us the talents. He want us to at least do something with it. Whatever you can do with your talents, do something with it. This is uh, St. Matthew chapter 5. And I'm about to wrap it up. You know. Um, 14. St. Matthew 5, 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do a man light a candle and put it under a bushel. But on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. You got the light, then shine it. We got the light, let us shine it. So let your light so shine before men. What is that light that the scriptures is talking about? This word, you got it. Let it shine. Go out there and speak it. Before men on the highways and byways, doing these sit-down videos, which is extra, which is extra. Building up that spiritual bank account. That 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 they may see your good works. This is a good work. Working for the Lord, pushing these videos out. This is a good work. And glorify your Father which is in heaven. You see, because the Lord ain't coming back playing. The Lord's coming back to destroy. To destroy. Man, if I do want to bring one more, I do want to bring one more out. This is Revelation chapter two. Let's just get this. Revelation chapter 2. Um, 25. But that which you have already hold fast side come. Meaning this word. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end. To him will I give power over the nations, man. All right. Power over the nations if we endure. And he said, This red letter, Lord Yahweh shall speak who they gonna call Jesus. And he shall rule them. We're gonna rule these heathen nations, man, with the rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. Plus, it goes into that um Romans the eighth chapter. You know what I'm saying? We got to suffer. It says faith and, and patience. Inherit the kingdom, right? Even as I received of my father. Joint heirs with Lord Yahweh Just for putting in this work, man. Just for laboring. You, you can't be. That's a win-win. That's a win-win. And we don't even deserve it. It's a win-win. You just want to do something quick through the spirit of your house. By Shemesh, our Lord, one of the elect is edified. Just putting in the word for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Our labor is not in vain, man. The Lord is not unrighteous to forget what we're doing. Lord willing to keep their spirits on us to endure until the end. Shalom.